Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please pause for the 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm Alex. I'm Aubrey. And I'm Emma with GNN, your Grizzly News Network. Today is Tuesday, October 17th, 2023. Breaking News! Grizzlies, we've been hacked! We are working around technical difficulties today with the CCSD limiting access because of a data breach. Right now, the situation for many of us is we can log into our accounts but cannot access our drive and email. Once CCSD fixes this problem, the password situation, you will be able to reset your password and gain access. But even with the access, it is limited to school district property, which means you need to make the most of class time and get work done, because you will not have access to your Google Suite at home for the next five days. Grizzlies, it's homecoming week here at Spring Valley. Along with the decorations on camp campus, students are showing off their spirit during our weekly countdown. Today is bring a forest friend to school. You may see kids with stuffed animals around campus. Wednesday, we plan to see some heroes versus villains as the evil queen takes on Snow White. And Thursday, we are celebrating Cinderella's Ball by dressing up in your best outfits. Finally, Friday, it is the fight of the fairy tales with a color war. Freshmen wear red, sophomores wear blue, juniors wear green, and seniors wear black. Rep your class so you stand out with the Hoko Assembly this Friday. And don't forget, we need your help cheering on our football team as they take on Clark at 6 p.m. The theme for this year's homecoming dance is Into the Den, with a fairy tale feel like Into the Woods. The dance is happening this Saturday, October 21st, from 6 to 8 p.m. The tickets for the dance are only $25 and are available online through Tickets Picket. But they are limited, so get them while you can. If you want a guest for homecoming, make sure to stop by room 908. There are several rules about attending the dance on the screen. Sales will end when they are sold out or by October 20th at 3 p.m. And dance guest passes will need to be submitted by October 17th today. And the nominations are in, and now it is your time to vote for who will be crowned king and queen and prince and princess of this year's homecoming. Scan the QR code on screen to place your vote in by the end of the week. When the CCSD logins do come back up, do you remember Zadius, former anchor and volleyball announcer? He is running for homecoming prince and needs your help. When you can fill out our phone form, let's vote Zadius. Hey, Alex, any news for seniors? Seniors, today is your last day for formal senior portraits. These photos will take place during your English class, just like a regular picture day. For your formals, you are required to wear a dressy black dress shirt, or you could wear the black tux or drape provided by Dorian Studios. If you choose to wear your own outfit, it must be in school dress code, or your formal senior photos will not be included in the yearbook. Please remember, your money, if you plan to pay for extra photos, the one for the yearbook is free. There are only a few clubs meeting today. Come join Comic Book Club. They are meeting in room 220 where they discuss comics and appreciate the art form. And Varsity Quiz will be meeting today in either room 917 or 901. And Host a Club, which looks into the health industry, will be meeting in room 913. Chess Club meets in room 226. Come check out your chess skills. National Honor Society will meet again next week. Remember, all clubs start at 2.01 p.m. There are a lot of a lot of colleges on campus this week, Grizzlies. Now's your time to check them out. Here's a look at the colleges who will be here during first lunch. Today, head to sunny California with the University of Pacific and the University of San Diego. On Wednesday, San Jose State and Whitman College will be visiting. And on Thursday, Witter College and the University of Colorado Boulder will be here. And finally, on Friday, it will be UC San Diego and University of Oregon Ducks on campus. For our second lunch students, here's a look at the colleges visiting. Today, it's the Battle of the Coast with New York University and Oregon Institute of Technology meeting with students. On Wednesday, Lehigh University and Soka University will be on campus. Then on Thursday, it's a packed house with Chapman University, UC Irvine, and the University of Montana will be here. Fi finally, on Friday, Willamente University and Queen Mary University of London will be on campus. Remember, the college visit visits always take place during lunch in the cafeteria. Hey Grizzlies, do you know foreign language? and would like to earn a reward for it, the Nevada Seal Biliteracy will be handing out awards. One of the awards 
given is to recognize students who have attained proficiency in English in at least one other language by high school graduation. The seal of biliteracy is evidence of bilingual skills that are learned to future employers and college admission officers. The requirements needed are one, you must be a senior or early grad junior, two, you must have an English GPA of 2.0 or higher, and three, you must pass one of the three exams. The district English, the district exam proctored in spring, AP language exam, or IB language exam. Scan the QR code on screen to apply. Make sure to congratulate our marching band as they won the final competition of this season last night. They played against Arborview. They ended up placing first in the division and winning every award. The awards were collected by drum majors Cinny and Ram, drumline captain Andrew, and color guard captains Jocelyn and McKenna. We want to give a big shout out to our journalism and yearbook students who brought home major awards this week. Our journalism program brought home gold from the Southern Nevada Society of Journalism and several of our writers were honored for their work, including Dylan, Luxury, and Troy, who were given <laughs> superior ratings, and I was awarded three excellent awards. And our journalism students brought home a ton of awards. Check out the list. Overall, our yearbook publication took gold, and it takes a lot of work to create this 200-page memory book. Congrats to all these students who helped make our yearbook stand out. After a long two days of competition, the speech and debate team brought home some glory. During, Lincoln, during the Lincoln-Douglas debate, Jesslyn broke into the Sweet 16 and took eighth place, and Yabu was a semifinalist and took fourth place. In the humorous interpretation, Speech and debate, Rio was a semifinalist and took fourth place. Finally, Julian brought home gold with first place international player exempl exemplatoria speech. Big congratulations in order for our top placers in speech and debate. A big congrats to our hardworking auto students. Last spring, Val Spring Valley students earned the most certificates district wide in snap on cer certifications for automotive technical skills. Our students earned 365 certificates. Congrats to all of our auto tech students. Seniors, have you purchased your senior ad yet? The deadline for early bird pricing is Halloween. Don't miss out on featuring your favorite moments with friends and family in your final yearbook ever. Senior ads can be purchased on the Jostens website. See Ms. Verderosa in room 213 with questions. Hey, Aubrey, anything new with the Hoko game? Yeah, to start off our homecoming game is coming up this Friday. Danny took some time to check in with our players throughout the week and see how they react to some fun questions. Hey, Grizzlies, I'm Danny. And I'm Braylon. Braylon, what positions do you play? Wide receiver and DB. Funny questions. Would you rather shoot spaghetti out of your fingers or sneeze meatballs? I'm going to have to say shoot spaghetti out my fingers because, you know, that's like damn near Spider-Man, so, yeah. You heard it here. Braylon is the new Spider-Man. Yep. And Danny, I got a question for you, though. What is it? What's the move this Friday? <laughs> the move this Friday is our homecoming game here at home at 6 p.m. I'll see you there, Grizzlies. And remember, our game starts at 6 here at home. You will need to grab your game tickets on Ticket Spigot, and you will don't want to miss this game. There will be an incredible halftime performance and parade. And remember, no bags or backpacks allowed. And you must have your student ID or valid Minga. See you, see you at what we take at Clark at 6 p.m. For sports this week, today girls soccer is playing basic with varsity playing at 5, then JV playing at 6.30. And our cross country team will be playing a be competing at Sierra Vista at 3.30 p.m. Then coming Thursday, girls volleyball varsity will be playing Durango at 6 and JV at 5. And our, our JV football team will be facing off against Clark at 4 p.m. And on, in our course Friday, our home football team will be playing Clark at 6. So be sure to come out and support our teams. If you're looking for sports clips to join this year, you may want to consider archery. Archery meets every t Tuesday in the cafeteria. Show up and learn how to aim and hit a target. They are meeting tomorrow at 201 in the cafeteria. Hey Nicole, how's the weather looking for the rest of the week? For this week, today we have a high of 89 and a low of 63. For tomorrow, we have a high of 90 and a low of 63. And on Thursday, we have a high of 90 and a low of 65. On Friday, we have a high of 91 and a low of 67. Spooky Seasons is officially starting because Duncan unveils a six-foot inflatable donut. Duncan's new halloween themes lawn decoration is currently for sale at ShopDunkin.com. So they wanted to showcase their love for Halloween and donuts. This year, they wanted to show to, to create an out-of-donut-box way to 
for spider donut super spans to, <laughs> to showcase their love for seasons with this inflatable masterpiece. The actual edible version is the spider donut is out available for all Duncan locations nationwide. We love our sweets during Halloween time. Back to you at the desk. Hey, Grizzlies, have you been backing up Minga Points? You can redeem your Minga Points at both lunches every Friday. You can exchange them for rewards, such as stress balls, raffles, school, spirit day, stickers, and more. Check out all the rewards on Minga, or look for a sign posted in all classrooms. And remember to show your teachers how organized you are and what kind of leader you can be, so you can earn those points. Have you bought Flag Football Sour Jack Gummies? These gummies come in two different flavors, Sour Neon Worms and Watermelon Sour Wedges. The, they are only selling for $2. Find a Girls Flag Football member around school during any time of the day to get your candy. Grizzlies, do you want a sweet gummy treat? Hoso will be selling gummies for $1 a piece. Stop by their club or ask a member for one of these sweet treats. Look for students carrying the bags full of gummy bears. This was Alex, Aubrey, and Emma of the Grizzly News Network. Have a terrific Tuesday, Grizzlies!